Uh, Mike, you, you've left a, a profound legacy, and I've got to say personally, one of the reasons I came here was the, the Asian super regional strategy is yeah. incredibly interesting. I mean, there's few organisations that have rebuilt their strategy and their intention to the degree, to the degree that ANZ has in this period. Um, I wonder if you can sort of talk to us a bit about that, what that strategy really means. But equally, because it was such a, an enormous strategic change, people tend to sort of miss some of the other things that you've achieved, you know, whether it's with the strength of the bank or with value. So perhaps you could sort of have a, a chat to us about those things. Yeah, look, I, I think the super regional strategy um, in itself to me was blindingly obvious in that the, it, it's what we needed to do. Um, uh, it, it hasn't been as obvious to the rest of the market, I've since found out. But, you know, that's, that's one of the things that we, you know, have, have had to work against. Eight years ago, it would not have seemed possible to be where we are right now. And I think that um, my peers, um, in the international banks around the world, um, look at ANZ as a as a as a model. You know, they, they look at it as a as an example of what could be can be done, and they they are always telling me, you know, we don't know how you've managed to do this so so quickly. It wasn't just about building out the regional footprint; it was also about strengthening our home yeah, business absolutely. and the whole banking on yeah. Australia program. That has been enormously successful. I mean, you know, to some extent it kind of gets hidden a little bit. Perhaps um, people don't notice it as much as they should. But the reality is that business has been growing market share, which is essentially what it's all about. Profitable growth in market share, more customers choosing ANZ every day for five, it will be five and a half years now. My thesis is really what it's saying is the whole industry is going to fundamentally change. Social expectations of what people expect, how they expect their banks to operate, what they do, how they do it, how they interact, what they tell their customers. All of that stuff is going to change fundamentally. That doesn't just mean, oh, we have to do a few apps or change the terms and conditions on our credit cards or all that stuff. That's about fundamentally really rethinking about what's our role in, community, in the communities in which we operate. And so I think there's going to be whole new business models that emerge as a result of that.